It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Washington Commanders and the Green Bay Packers on Thursday night primetime. Joey Sly, the kicker, stands ready. And off we go from Lambeau. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. A six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Love looking to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Checks pink. Black one. Smith red. That's taken in by Watson. And out across midfield down to the 45. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. In Washington territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Well, the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Got his man, that's Luke Musgrave. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. On third down, Love. That is caught, and he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They go back to the ground with Jones. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Cody Barton there to bring him down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Second down, another shot for Jones. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. They talked with us about setting the tone early in this football game, and this opening drive has been a tone setter so far. And how about the discipline on this drive as well? Everyone doing their job, everyone knitting it all together and creating that last explosive run to set up first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets him down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. Ready. Jones will score. Touchdown, Packers. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And it's good to make it 7 0 Packers. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. And he returns this to the 22. So here are the commanders making their way out. And they will be led out by their signal caller in his second year in the NFL now. 
And he left North Carolina with most of his school's records and at one point was thought to be maybe the number one quarterback in his draft class. He does bring deceptive athleticism and plenty of upside to the table. Add some consistency, and maybe he can really unlock what he can be in the NFL. A really nice gain of 25 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They'll run for the first time here with Brian Robinson. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 22 yards there, a first down. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. Yeah, he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. Just need a yard here, second and one. They'll run again here with Robinson. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal as he's able to take this inside the 10 to the 8. Let's face it, when you have a guy who can pick up those types of runs and keep the chains moving or stay ahead of the chains, you're making everyone else on offense happy because you're opening things up to allow for a whole lot of different play calls. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. Washington with the football here to begin quarter number two. As they come up now, second and goal. Powell, he'll look to throw it. Sliding out of the pocket. And he just chopped that one out of bounds out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. From the two-yard line yet again. Let's see what they can do on third and goal. Throwing here, Howell. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. John Bates, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something, because right now, they're just cutting them to shreds. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Play action this time with Love. Completes it again to Dobbs. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Love going to give this one to Jones. Fighting his way through contact. Fights through and now a crease. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Packers have taken the lead. Bottom line, when you play a runner with these talents, you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground. Or the first person who gets there, hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down. Otherwise, he will continue downfield and find pay dirt. Carlson on for the extra point. And he 
He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. They start on the ground with Robinson here. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no game. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field and it's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. He's got room past the 30. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards to play. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. He let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. From the 46, here's the second and five. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Throw right side complete to Dotson. Seven yards there and a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Flush to his right. Open man is Samuel, complete. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Al now to throw it. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And the Packers are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Now a second down throw for Love here. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14 to 7. First down, love to pass. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. Second and six. Ready? Working out of the gun. Love. Short throw. He's got Kraft. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Going back to Love. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have the Packers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. That one goes for eight yards. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Throwing. Love. 
A short throw to Musgrave. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and that will bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. A short throw to Musgrave. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. To pass, here's Jordan Love. That's complete to Dobbs. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Now the Packers are going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Open man is Musgrave, the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Again, it's Love. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now it's second and 10. Now Love. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Well, you know you don't want to make a mistake in that area, so you make sure you make a smart throw. Throw it out towards the sidelines. If you overshoot your guy, so be it. It's just the incompletion that we saw there. Love now. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And this one is right through. And that will do it for this first half. So we're at halftime here at Lambeau with the Packers taking the lead to the break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Co... All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Now it's Crowder. Now it's Crowder. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The commander's up first on offense as we begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. From the 43, here's a second and nine. Now how? And incomplete. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys. Yes, they have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. How many times do we hear that third down may be the most important down in football? And there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives for it, and gets it. What a big time play, putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. 
And Howe will throw it. Off to Thomas on the left side. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Howell out of the shotgun. He'll buy some time right. Dotson has it. Touchdown, Commanders. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Commanders have got it back to within a score. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. Slide for the PAT. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was Jahan Dotson with a touchdown catch to finish things off. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And inside give to Jones. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Check white. Blue check. Again, it's Jones. And some room to run now. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 94 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the second down. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Play fake. Here's Love. They'll complete this one to Watson. And he's going to be taken down. But there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold or did they rough the quarterback? Personal foul penalty, and those are some important yards lost right there. Yeah, it all comes down to discipline, doesn't it? And every team tells us that they coach it, they preach it. In this case, it slipped a little bit. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. Ready. To throw now. Here's Love. That's a Packers touchdown. Luke Musgrave. A 14-yard touchdown. As his guys are able to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Now Carlson for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So the drive there took six plays. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. 
They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, Paul. And they'll bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Well, the play fake, and now here's how to throw it. He's got Thomas yet again complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Going to be caught downfield by Dotson. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra. Dodson has it. Touchdown, Commanders. A great effort there with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Commanders are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Play action this time with Love. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. Love. Slant route, he's got downs. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. the play fake love over the middle here it's hauled in by Watson and he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30 back to back nice plays 12 yards that time and a first down a complete once again to Watson and he's tackled a yard short of the marker good gain of nine on first down if nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. That's to the tight end, Musgrave. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Check right. Ready, now a first down carry by Jones. Oh, what a move. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 117 yards on the ground for him now. As he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. 
Love, they go play action now. Touchdown! Josiah DeGroy from three yards out. And the Packers are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. That's just how they do it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, yeah, I give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Carlson's extra point up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And this taken in at the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Commanders. And that big fourth quarter return, Charles, makes this a one-score game. And now it all comes down to philosophy. All right, they said the big return for a touchdown, so the momentum is high. Do you want to ride that and go for two? Or do you just go ahead and kick the extra point and come back and rely on your defense? The extra point by Sly is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Up the middle, Jones. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. He's got his target. That's complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And a good run here as he'll run all the way down to the 40-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run for it with Jones. A great effort there to shed the contact, but it helps him pick up the first. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They try and run on first down, but this one going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. A give to Jones. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. 
Third and eight. Love looking to throw. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. And his kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here we go now with Hal and the Commanders. Down by six, 53 ticks to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Flushed out right. Jihad Dadson. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. And this is one of those gotta have it drives. You can't start much better than that. Big yardage there. And just as important, he's able to get out of bounds. And now, that changes everything. Here's Howell. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Jair Alexander. And the Packers have just about sewn up this football game. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in a yard. So it's all over, a Green Bay victory. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them. This one is now planted. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.